Good morning. Happy Chinese New Year, Aiden. <laughs> what is that? The doggy. <gasps> oh, such a hard life, isn't it? Say thank you to mummy. You put it in your bank account today. She'll go to the bank. This little guy has an eye infection. Um, it's gotten better, but then he woke up this morning with a bit of a cold. So I'm hoping he's not got the flu because tomorrow he's going on holiday with his dad for a week. So I'm hoping he's not feeling under the weather. Aiden, don't rub your eyes. Don't rub it. Let me clean it for you in a sec. Do you want to build Lego? Shall we finish it? I started um, to build this yesterday and it's the most complex thing ever. I gave up. Okay, these are the best. Can you open this? Uh, these are the best of the pieces. It's, they're tiny, like tiny, tiny pieces. Are you happy now? This actually took me two days. Well, in little sessions, I do about an hour. So I guess altogether about two, three hours to build this. Honestly, my fingers hurt just took a load of pictures for um, me and Aiden. Uh, I'm going to post a couple Thank to you. Instagram and Thank say you. Happy New Year. And it was such Daddy a struggle, bar. wasn't it? Teddy bear. Coffee's a teddy bear? Yeah. Yeah, because Aiden was holding his teddy bear and I was like, put him, put his teddy bear down because coffee needs to be in the picture as well. We can't all fit in the picture. And honestly, it's such a struggle. Check out these pictures. He's got his eyes closed, coffee's not looking, and that's the teddy bear that was taken over the camera. That's coffee covering my face. Honestly, it was so hard. Good morning, guys. Today is a Tuesday, and we've both got flu as well. But it is Chinese New Year, so yay! Happy Chinese New Year, guys. It is a happy Chinese New Year. Happy? No. Okay, fair enough. Um, but we are going to pop out because I need to put his money into the bank. And he is off on holiday with his dad tomorrow for a week. So today is actually going to be the last day that I spend with him for a whole week. So I really do want to take him out and have some fun. Should we have some fun? Jumping. You want to go jumping? Um, he wants to go to the trampoline park. I'm not sure if it's the best idea, but it is quiet I guess because it's a weekday and it's quite early it's like 10 a.m um but I'm not feeling too well do you know when you just feel like there's a lump in your foot and my body just feels really weak like as if like I can just be in bed and I could just I don't know like feel really bad straight away what am I even talking about but you guys know what I mean like when your body feels weak your burns are aching you've got that lump in your foot your voice is starting to change a little bit and you just you can feel it coming like I'm just waiting for it to come well I'm trying to be strong and mentality I'm like I'm not gonna get ill I'm not gonna get ill I'm gonna be fine like even when I was getting changed I was freezing and I was like okay I can do this like I feel like if your mentality is Mommy. strong then it'll make Mommy. a difference Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Mimi's gonna miss you so much. Why? Because you're going on the airplane tomorrow. Later. Not later, tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, you're going on the airplane. Let me put some eye drops in before yeah. we leave. Let me look at your eye. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better now. Before we go to the trampoline park, I'm just in Lola's getting coffee because I haven't had coffee today and I need it. And this little guy is just looking at the cakes. Is it pretty? Pretty cakes? Do you not want a cup of tea? He just wants to go bouncing. Are you feeling better? He just took off his shoes and his own coat. Thank you. Home. 
I was looking a bit of a mess. I had no idea that we wasn't supposed to tidy on New Year's Day. Um, good job I haven't done any washing up or any dishes or anything. I've had a little bit of like tidying, like making the bed and that. But I haven't done any like proper cleaning, which I'm glad because my friend was like, um, we're just staying at home, but we can't clean anything. And I was like, why? And then she was like, oh, you're not supposed to clean on New Year's Day. So I was like, okay, good job. Um, she told me. I've just got changed because I and Aiden and Aiden's dad is actually going out for a Chinese New Year dinner. I thought it'd be nice to take Aiden out um, for a traditional Chinese New Year dinner. Um, we were meant to go last night, but we didn't go and we're going tonight and sorry you're a bit hungry well we're going out for dinner in about 15 minutes okay yes 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 okay good you good yeah so what I did is um, put on a t-shirt you want to stay at mommy's home? Yeah. This guy, uh, nurse, he's going on holiday and he keeps telling me he just wants to stay at mommy's home. <laughs> Bless him. Because he knows that I'm not going so he gets sad whenever I tell him because I've kind of been warning him or not, well, not warning him but like just... just okay then, go, go outside then. Yes, we're going to go for dinner. Okay, um, basically I've been telling him every single night that he's going away with his dad for a week so that he warms up to the idea and he gets it instead of just um, him taking off and he would probably get really upset. Huh? You're hungry? It's okay, mummy, let's make you some food in a minute. Mummy, pick you up. Um, so basically I've got this t-shirt on from Arquette, it's just a basic black and white striping one, I put a black blazer on and I've got my um, black skinny jeans on still. And Are you feeling better? Yeah. We need to put eye drops in your eyes, yeah. and we need to clean your eyes and put eye drops, it looks a lot better. Is it? Do you feel better? Yeah. yeah? Good morning guys, today is a Wednesday, I've just finished getting ready, Aiden's getting himself ready, he's learning to put his trousers on, did you do it? Yeah. <gasps> you did it! Oh my gosh, look at you, how clever, are you a clever boy? Yeah. Ooh, look at your belly, skinny belly, um, room is a complete mess because apparently yesterday I wasn't meant to tidy up because it was Chinese New Year, I wasn't supposed to clean or anything. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do all that tonight when I get home. I'm just off into London. Aiden's going to his dad's because they're going to uh, the Netherlands, and I'm going into London because I'm going to watch Wicked. Mummy's going Yankee, Yankee. Mummy's going London. Yeah. Where are you going? Um, Holland. Hey, Holland. Yeah. Okay, let's get changed then. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to quickly show you this jumper that I got in H&M the other day. I found it in the sale section. I'm here. <gasps> Your chase. Yeah. I'm Sky. Hey, guys. I'm Sky. Yeah, it was in the sale section, so it was £10. And then when I went to pay, there was an extra 20% off. Pink. So I got it for £8 Mommy. from H&M. Yes? Pink guys. Mummy likes pink. And do you like blue? Yeah, yeah. Right. You like red, so are you a marshal then? Yeah. Are you a fire engine? Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you put your socks on? Right. Do you know how to put your socks on? Yeah. What did mummy say? Open it wide, open it big. <gasps> you got it on. Woohoo! Yay! You did it! Told you. You're a big boy now, you can do everything yourself. What about this one? This one. <laughs> He's so cute. My mirror needs cleaning. Hi guys. Hi guys. <gasps> have you got that one on? Is it the right way? Let's mommy me have a look. Turn it around a little bit. Yep, yeah, pull it up. What's that time? What's that sound? Yeah. Our neighbour's going outside. 
Who? Our neighbour, next door neighbour. Our neighbour. Is it on? Pull it more. Pull it more, Eden. Pull it up. Yeah, you got it. You've got it. Woohoo. Sam, Sam, okay, take your top off then. I want to wear these lovers today, but I'm not sure if I want to risk it because I've not worn them for an entire day before. I've worn it for a couple of hours, but I'm not sure how they're gonna be if I wear them for like, I don't know, 10 hours. I don't want to end up getting blisters. So I'm not sure. Shall I stick to something safe? Yes? They're too big for you. Are you sure? Do you wanna try them on again? Are they too big for you? Mm. So I have taken the risk. I'm wearing these snake skin loafers. I've got black skinny jeans on. Um, this grey jumper that I showed you. <laughs> um, my nasty gal coat on as always. It's really warm. I have my Chanel mini and then I've put a hat on because my hair's not great today. So a hat I think is needed. So yeah, this is kind of my outfit for today this little guy is too cute did you put that on yeah do you like it yeah. mommy's hat i gave him another red envelope hat. for getting on the plane you like big mommy's hat oh yeah. gonna miss you how are you doing <laughs> cowboy <laughs> I'm just sat upstairs in front and there's a uh, police with the uh, um, sniffer dogs and they're so cute can you see this one right here and then this one over here as well so cute and they're going crazy they're literally going crazy I'm waiting for my sister we're actually gonna go for lunch um, somewhere near Victoria but I'm so so hungry so I've just quickly got myself a pesto flatbed wrap oh there they are can you see look at everyone's luggage and bags just come in to Bird Daddy's in Victoria. Uh, I'm going to share because I'm not hungry. Um, my sister hasn't eaten, but I ate that chicken and pesto flatbread thing. So we've got noodles, we've got sushi, we've got broccoli, we've got tofu. And it's really nice with me. I've never been to one before. Actually, I don't think I've ever been to Bird Daddy's before. Um, I've been to quite a few ramen places, but not Bird Daddy's. So I'm looking forward to trying it. And then we're going to go see the in an hour and a half. So we've got an hour and a half. And then I'm going to tell myself to take my outfit picture for me. Really We're just in a taxi heading to Chinatown. We just finished watching Wicked and it was actually really good. Um, it did seem to go on like in some bits, like it dragged on a little bit. Let me just back some It dragged on a little bit and it could have been cut shorter, I think. Um, but first of all, it was really good and. The uh, production, okay. the production was so good. Coming to the Japan Centre because my sister wanted to buy some stuff, and uh, this is the one near her market and they have all of this stuff it's really cute but it's super duper expensive and i would not recommend buying anything from here because you can probably get it online for a lot cheaper but also they have um some beauty stuff uh this is actually really good but again it's really expensive here look it's 35 pounds here online you can probably get it for about 20 pounds um, but yeah they have a lot of stuff in here they have food little sachets bowls and uh, they have um, a fresh food section over there um, where the fridges are and then I don't know where my sister is but there's a lot of green tea stuff here 
and you can get pure matcha powder so if you want to make like green tea ice cream or um, green tea desserts you can get your matcha powder from here but again very expensive but if you don't really have much choice then you'll have to get it from here <laughs> but I'm sure you can get it online these are so cute as well I always say I'm gonna make like cute rice things like this for Aiden but in reality who has the time to do that <laughs> imagine me trying to make that every single day for his lunch like that's just not happening I know it <laughs> and my pin 17 pounds for it as well they have a lot of Hello Kitty stuff this wasn't here last time I came it must be on you and then they have a lot of stacks this is um, where you'll find me <laughs> we've just come to a restaurant in Chinatown and we're gonna have um, Chinese dinner because me and my sister are treating this as a Chinese New Year kind of dinner and I feel like all of them today is eat this is my third meal today <laughs> literally eating so much but got lettuce wraps and then we've got um tong toy with garlic and then we've got other food coming as well we've also got one to noodles and a aubergine clear pot which is yummy time to eat we did really really well <laughs> finished dinner and now we're coming to a dessert place um, dessert place not dessert um, it's basically called um, I can't remember what it's called but I'll put it on the screen so that you know but it's um, Malaysian I think um, and last time I came here with my friend and it's so good but I'm bringing my sister back and I think she'll like it it's honestly so good here. I would highly, highly recommend it. And the decor as well, just like marble tables. There's wallpaper at the back in the pink surface. It's, it's really Instagramable, so it's good in here. This is what we've got. This is called a Halo Halo, and we've got different layers of stuff. And then that one is a crispy ice cream donut. It's honestly the bomb, guys. just walking to my car now nearly home and I can confirm that these shoes are very comfy I've had them on for 12 hours now and my feet do not hurt at all my decennia order came I ordered three prints for Aiden and then one for myself and yeah I can't wait to oh look at that I ordered a lion I am a Leo star sign so lions are naturally just me um, I saw this one on the senior and I was like that is just beautiful so I bought this one for myself well for our living room and then for Aiden these are so cute I'm um, trying to do this with one hand I basically bought three prints um, they only had three uh, this one is forest friends so there's lots of little different forest animals and then the next one is whales he's gonna really like this one because he does love his um, sea life and then the next one is dinosaurs um, he's just obsessed with dinosaurs so I got him this one yay he's gonna be so happy when he gets home a Friday morning I've got a blackhead nurse strip on and I have Earloplex mask in my hair good start to the day so i washed my hair mask off and my blackhead um thing i haven't done a blackhead thing for like two months i think um it's been a long time so there's a lot of blackheads and I, I was so satisfied with what i saw when it like peeled off um basically i just put on a little bit of makeup to look more presentable i'm just off to run some errands i need to go to the post office i need to buy a picture frame for my lion which I really want to put up today and I just need to do bits and bobs it's quite late already it's 2 p.m. Um, this morning I was just doing admin work and sending things back to like um, emails and stats and brand work and I need to do a photo shoot on Sunday so in a couple of days I'm gonna go to my sister's and 
um, she's gonna help me with it I'm so so jealous of people who have boyfriends or people that they live with that can help them take photos for me when I have a collaboration or I have brand work then I need to ask my sister and see when she's free or maybe if I'm out and about ask my friends to do it for me which is quite inconvenient sometimes because like if there's someone around with me today I would just shoot it today and get it done but because I need to plan ahead it just oh I'm so jealous of people who have like people to you know do help them and do photos for them but I tried this Anastasia um, Beverly Hills blush today it was sent to me last week and it's called the pink passion I basically used the two lightest shades so uh, these two here this one and this one um, I just mixed them both together and I put it on quite generously on my cheeks I'm really liking blusher especially when my face is like this I don't have much bronzer or contouring products on I do have a little bit on but not a lot so I like to have blusher like here and then apply it quite high up because I have a round face and then I kind of apply it just above the contour areas and I really like it it's a really pretty blush hey what are you doing causing havoc coffee coffee come on wow I look really yellow here just because I have this lamp behind me what I'm gonna do um, probably in a couple of days is change all my light bulbs to daylight light bulbs because they're just more natural and more forgiving like these light bulbs just make me look yellow um, what I bought myself yesterday I went to Savers you guys know I love Savers for my eyelashes I bought three packs of eyelashes all of these were $1.99 so there's quite a few different types here all from surfers and i thought these would be good for a really dramatic look look how pretty those are and these are also good for like days like today when i'm not wearing too much makeup but i'm wearing like enough and i want to put a false eyelash on and then these were just some really pretty ones i thought i like how spiky they are i thought that would just be good to add to my collection in that Estee Lauder I am such a fan of Estee Lauder I've been using Estee Lauder for years like on and off they sent me a advanced night repair and I believe it is in a red packaging because it's Chinese New Year so that's a really nice gift as well you know sometimes I receive gifts and I'm just like oh I'm not gonna use it a bit wasteful um, but then there's times that I get sent stuff like this and then I'm just like <gasps> like I am so using it like it's not going to waste because I'm going to be trialing it Smashbox also sent me three lip glosses and um, this is from the Gloss Gloss Angeles um, collection um, I guess that's a play on words because it's like a Los Angeles collection and I started getting into lip gloss towards the end of last year so I feel like this year is going to be a lot of gloss I feel like I'm going to um, get back into gloss because I like how it looks in pictures I do love a matte lip but sometimes gloss is just so pretty and actually I'm going to put one on now this is called Surf Bunny oh it's like this pink gloss so let's give this a whirl Oh, the applicator is like a sponge. Probably not the best lighting because I'm so yellow right now. I am literally a minion. Mmm. Like, actually, gloss is so pretty. I feel like a lot of people have forgotten about lip gloss. The only thing I don't like about lip gloss is when it's windy, your hair gets stuck to your lips. But other than that, it is really pretty. It feels really light as well. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It actually feels like nothing. It feels like there's nothing on the lips, but it's nice and glossy. I 
I've just finished filming a makeup tutorial so a makeup tutorial will be coming soon and I actually changed the lip colour because it's a Saturday afternoon and the lip colour was like a really fampy dark red so I was just like oh maybe I should just change up my lip colour because it's a Saturday afternoon and you know it's a bit too much for a Saturday afternoon um, so yeah I just changed it to my usual Rimmel Nude Delight well it's not even Nude Delight anymore um, it's number 43 and it's by the Kate Moss Collection by Rimmel and yeah I need to go get coffee some dog food she's out of dog food I just gave her the last bit of dog food so she's not gonna have any for tonight so I need to go get her some dog food just in boots and elf have their own skincare I had no idea and they also now sell Boschia is that how you say it Bo Boschia Boschia um, this was quite popular when all of the masks came out like all of the black charcoal masks I remember everyone was talking about this one I've never tried it before though and it is £27.50 they also sell pixie as well which is good um, but I do generally just get mine online when I'm doing like an order at Cut Beauty or um, other places but maybe I should start getting in boots because then I can get my points I'm actually so hungry so for now I'm going to make myself a ham sandwich I bought myself a baguette so I'm going to have a ham sandwich baguette I haven't bought a baguette in ages because I've been avoiding carbs but this week for some reason I've just been craving carbs and I've gone to sleep a couple of nights feeling pretty ill like my stomach was bloated and I didn't feel very comfortable and it was hard sleeping and I didn't get very much sleep at all but for some reason I just love bread I just love it just looks delicious but there's one thing that's missing and that is the mustard ham and mustard sandwiches are my jam also prawn as well I like prawn oh god I hate it when it does that I forgot to shake it so all the um water from the top just came out but, oh, that sounds very attractive and <laughs> not this is my little makeshift working area for today Aiden's not here so I just stole his little table and I just sat here and did my tutorial which was actually really good it was perfect <laughs> Oh yes, look at how much space I have as well, life changing. Good morning guys, today is a Sunday, I've just arrived outside my sister's because we're going to go for brunch and she's also going to help me shoot some content as well. Um, I have a collaboration with a brand so she um, helps me out when I need help. So I've just come all the way to hers and there's something wrong with my car, so basically I was driving on the M25 and I pulled over at the Costa drive through to get my coffee and um, literally you don't have to get out of your car it's just a drive through and then you're back on the M25 within like five minutes but when I went to accelerate from the junction and get back onto the M25 I put my foot down and then when it hit like 40 it suddenly pulled me back and it said restricted performance and then this little symbol came on on the dashboard and I was just like what the hell obviously cars were going quite fast because I'm on the M25 people are like going and good job I was in the slow lane and there was no cars behind me or else the car behind me would have had to do uh, quite a harsh break because I pulled out but I wasn't able to accelerate and hit like 60 or 70 within a few seconds and I was just like oh shit like what's happening and then it took me about 10 like 20 seconds to go from 40 to 50 and that is just not normal because normally when I put my foot down it goes from not to 60 or 70 within like seconds so I was just like that is not normal so I pulled over on the hard shoulder put my hazard lights on and I googled it and basically um, some of the advice was to switch off your car wait for a few seconds and switch it back on again and it might be the computer error because this car is highly um, it relies on the computer everything is just computer so sometimes things pop up or things happen when it's not meant to and I've actually had that before but it was something else and I was just like oh gosh so I switched it off and I switched it back on like four times just to make sure 
and then I pulled off again and then it seemed to be fine like it let me go to 60 quite fast and then I didn't want to push it too hard so I went from 60 to like 75 quite slowly I was like going at a steady pace I didn't put my foot down but symbol was still there so I'm just like oh my gosh I don't know what's wrong with it I don't know whether it's a computer error or what so throughout the journey I was halfway to my sister's I was just like sticking to like 70 because I didn't want to push it and yeah I'm just like I'm 70 miles away from home like if I was at home I would just like call someone to come and have a look at it but I'm 70 miles away from home and I still need to drive 70 miles back tonight so I'm just like I'm praying that now that I switched off my car it just resets itself and then it'll be fine when I pick it back up because that's what happened to a few of errors that I had and it was just the computer's fault it wasn't anything to do with the car really there was nothing wrong with it it was just the computer so fingers crossed and I'm hoping that's the case otherwise I might have to call someone to like have a look at it because yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back on the m25 with an error a sausage roll we have a sultana scone we have this aubergine um sandwich thing and as you can tell we have a number so we still have pancakes we still have avocado on toast and we still have what else do we have i'm not feeling very well so we've just come into boots on my voice um i've got a temperature coming on and i feel like i have cold coming on so we're just in boots i'm gonna get some lem sip i'm just trying to um find it just sat in my sister's car now uh, we're going to the garden center to try and get a plant um, it's a sunday so i don't know will it be busy garden centers are normally quite busy on the weekends but i've not been to the one near my sister's but we just had a yum yummy lunch and we bought medicine i had some lemon sip yeah that's not feeling very well so my sister's made chicken soup just gonna have this for dinner mm -hmm. so I am home now it took me quite a while to get back because I was driving quite slow because I just wanted to make sure that my car was fine and that I made it home in one piece um, yeah I'm probably gonna go to the garage tomorrow morning and see what's wrong with it um, but I am feeling like a dog right now I literally feel like the lem sip that I've had hasn't worked and my body just feels really really weak so what I'm going to do is get in the bath and have a really hot bath and then just get into bed it's actually not even 8 p.m yet but I do want to like tidy up and that and then get into bed by 9 p.m so yeah bit of a boring night but I hope you enjoyed this vlog I hope it isn't too long I feel like my vlogs are getting longer and longer I hope this one isn't as long as the last one which was like nearly 50 minutes long so that's pretty long <laughs> and yeah i'll see you in my next vlog thanks for watching guys Mwah.